Hello! Once again, Minecraft, and welcome to Toxic Minecraft. Uh, yes, I know that Voidbound is usually what I uh, record <coughs> uh, this Monday, but um, um, I thought I'd give you an update on what I've been doing on my Feed the Beast uh, server, Poppycock. And um, I've made some scientific leaps and bounds. I have to admit, and um, I'm going to get right into it and uh, give you the lowdown on what I've done. Um, I'm doing this because I want to record for prosperity exactly what I've accomplished. And I, I feel um, I feel um, quite a lot of satisfaction at, uh, at how far I've come. Um, so um, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so first off... I was uh, I was bored and I thought you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do something and what I did was I looked into the advanced genetics mod and I must admit that the advanced the advanced genetics mod is a lot easier than I first thought. Um, you only need these um, these machines. I don't have them set up now because I've already done what I need to do. Um, you need a D you need um, a, what is it a DNA a DNA extractor? Yeah, no, yeah. You need a DNA extractor. You need a DNA combiner, d decryptor. Um, you need an analyzer. Uh, you need a breeder. And you need a centrifuge. I think that's it, isn't it? And these here, these overclockers that you can see here, um, these, uh, they they get planted into the machines. Uh, when you when you when you actually pick the machine up, the overclockers come out into your inventory. So um, yeah, uh, it takes a lot of power, uh, depending on how many overclockers you have. But uh, it is a quick process and um, one that um, well. One that I've enjoyed, and um, what I've got, what I've got is a constant buff of regeneration. Um, I've got uh, lava. Uh, I can breathe underwater, um, and it's really easy to do. I can breathe underwater. Oh, and uh, I can fly. Oh, and that's my Steve cat going, making me some, uh, making me some wood. I wonder how many much he's got. Oh, it's not much, is it? Oh, that's right, because the, the chunks weren't loaded. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. I need another chunk loader. Um, oh, well. Well, we'll sort that out later. That's not for this. Uh, right, okay, so... Um, what else have I done? Oh, yes, that's right. I don't know if you knew, but I made some golems to harvest some plants for me. And um, I, I put some chests up. Do not feed the golems. <laughs> Um, but I decided that I was getting a bit bored with having to run over and, um, you know, look inside the chests, take the stuff, stick them in barrels, which I was sticking over here. I got a bit bored with it, so um, I did this, and um, I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with it. And what I did is I created this uh, this little bad boy underneath, and um, it's quite simple. What happens is, oh, there goes some, uh, there goes some of my mats. There, look. <laughs> okay. Um. So what I did, what I did, it quite. Oh, I'm running out of lava. Oh, we might need to turn that on. We'll turn that on now. Um, it's a shit. It, oh, I didn't know. Mm, well, it does use it up quite. I'll do it. I'll do it later. No, I'll do it later. It doesn't matter. Right, okay, oh, oh god, I was going to explain this. Right, okay, so, first off, what I've got is, uh, underneath the obsidian chest up the top, I've got two hoppers which come down and uh, attach to these um, these chests here, and then, obviously, whatever's put in there, it goes into the chest here and gets pumped out. Now, what it does then, it pumps out here, and it goes into this. Now, this is an iron transport pipe with gates, and you can um, you can open and close them so that you can make items go in one direction. And I've made it so that they go in this direction down this pipe. And they'll go down here. 
and they go down this pipe here, yeah, to this diamond gate by here. And as you can see, the diamond gate then sorts um, metals and uh, redstone. Here comes uh, copper, so you can have a look to see that it goes in the opposite direction. And it, it, it'll, uh, it'll separate the copper and whatever into each direction. There you go. Um, what happens is um, d uh, di uh, uh, non-metal craftables uh, will pipe down in here. And then this sorts out my seeds for me, um, sending the oh wait, sending the seeds that, that I don't want, and at the moment I don't want any seeds. Yeah, that's right. Uh, into this void, into this void pipe. If I do need seeds, however, I can set this up so that uh, the seeds will pump out and go into this chest here. What happens then is the uh, at the moment it's uh, diamonds and redstone. They get pumped out here into this gate here, and then into uh, these uh, auto crafting tables by here, uh, crafting it and then pushing it out. Now, what I've done is I've had that uh, the material that's not being used by this is pumped um, it, um, through this sandstone pipe. Now, what sandstone pipes do is that they they can travel over machines without linking into them. So I've got the sandstone pipe going over here, so that it doesn't link into this uh, into this chest. Now I have to have one block space because it, uh, this iron gate here that I want to make sure that the uh, they only go that way um, was attached into the side of this, and that would have been well disastrous to tell you the truth. Okay, so uh, what happens then is um, the redstone go is it? Yeah, the redstone goes into there and pumps out this way around here and the diamond or uh, essence goes over the top over here into this one and what I've done is I've I've um, I've put up some uh, uh, signposts so that I know which each location Ooh, what? How? Oh, I turned around there for no reason <coughs> for each location so that's a uh, uh, yeah um, so I know what each crafting table is doing and what it's making. So this is making diamonds and this is making redstone. That's so that I can uh, I know which one to change if I want to change a plant. You know, so I'm making something else like what coal or something like that. You know, because it's not like um, metals. Uh, this comes into this stop chest and it'll come into here. I didn't really need to do that. I could probably get rid of it and then it'll pump through anyway. But um, <clears throat> I don't know it. It just seemed like I wanted to do that. I, I could remove it, uh, but I'm not going to. You don't really need that. <coughs> That's just because I didn't know what I was doing. <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Dry throat again. I'll just take a drink. I'll be right with you. Oh. Okay, oh, yeah, that worked. <coughs> Kinda. Okay, like I said, it's a it's to do with my um my meds. Okay, it's going away now. Um, right, so I put it in this stop chest. Now, now the reason I got this these chests implanted is because this stuff here was done afterwards. I was doing it in sections, and in order to do it in sections and make sure that everything was working, I put in these stop chests so that I could work from that chest rather than work the entire system. So <clears throat> it basically breaks up the system so that if something goes wrong, you can easily find out what it is because one of the chests will have something in it and the other chest won't. You get me? I hope so. I know it makes sense to me. Okay, so what happens with the metals is they pass down here. No, no, they don't. They pass down here into this... <coughs> into this pipe. Now the reason I've got this as um, this is a cobblestone pipe and the reason I got this as a cobblestone pipe is because I thought it would link into that but it won't so I, I pr probably uh, changed that into a stone pipe but there's no real need. Uh, these golden gates make the um, make the items move faster so that there's there's less drag. As you can see now it'll do it now. Wine, waff, boff into the chest so what happens then is it goes into this chest here and then that's that's another stop chest right and then it goes into the next system which is this and that makes the metals in this like this is copper and what happens is um, it'll make that like that and it'll pump out this way 
<coughs> each of these systems work exactly the same, so I'll only show you one. And what happens is it'll make the copper like that, it'll pass up here like this and go into the bottom of the macerator, which is by here. That, that'll then macerate it and then feed out at the back, round to here, into the furnace, where it'll, um, it'll cook the uh, ore up, of course. And then, out of the top of the furnace, using uh, using another wooden pipe, spits out here, goes down there, and then into this stop chest. And then the, that, that's the ingots go into this stop chest. And then they feed up and they go up here into the sorting system, which is above here. These are, This isn't sorted because there's no need. There's only two barrels. But this one up here has got a sorting system because I've got... Um, I got uh, one, two, uh, four metals running into barrels at the top, and then what happens then is they get fed up into the top here, and then into these barrels, and then it sorts it out and puts it into the barrels for me, um, and there we go, and that's uh, that's what I've done. So I've got a fully automated essence essence um, uh, harvester and processing unit. Uh, so I don't have to bother with that anymore. I just come here and just take these. Um, of course, when I want to uh, change what I want, like if I want coal or something like that, I've got to change the system slightly. But uh, mostly that works perfectly. I got my Steve cart working here, doing some... Uh, and um, I've also got this, um, so I'll use it. Uh, this is uh, this is the sigil of the green grove, and this is what it does. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like adding bone meal to everything, basically. And what it does is it makes the trees grow faster. Allowing my Steve cat to be actually be able to do something rather than just stand around aimlessly. <coughs> and that allows me to get my wood. Of course, like I said, I've gotta get um I've gotta get a chunk loader for him, because he's not gonna be um working that good, um, to be honest at the moment. Yeah. Because he, he, if he doesn't load the chunks, then the trees don't grow. If the trees don't grow, then he's just going to be going around in circles doing nothing. Actually, he wouldn't be going around in circles. He'd probably stop. This is my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. I haven't used it yet. I built it. Um, and I, I haven't really used it. Um, because I don't know how to use it. Well, not yet, anyway. I know how to build it, because I looked it up in the uh, in the GUI. Um, uh, sorry, that's the uh, that's this. I looked it up on that, um, and then I built it, and it looks good, I really like it, but I'm just, hell knows how we're supposed to use it. There's no real, uh, the, no uh, play, oh, what's this, is that the oven? No, that's the processor. Um, and the brewer, I haven't used any of it, and I, I want to use it, so um, I don't know, I'll probably get back to you at some point and um, tell you about that. Um, have I told you about my uh, my my uh, my villages? Yeah, I think I showed you that. I've encased this in a building. Now, I've, originally this was supposed to be a sandstone pyramid. I was going to have this as a sandstone pyramid. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched the uh, program SG-1. Well, I wanted it to be, you know, kind of look a bit like that. Kind of Egyptian. <clears throat> because for some reason this blood magic altar just reminds me of of an Egyptian altar. I don't know, it's just inside my head. I don't know if it does with anyone else, but yeah, it looks kind of like Egyptian-ish sort of rune kind of thing, you know? Kind of looks like this kind of thing that you would, you know, Imhotep. Imhotep, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know if that's what he was going for, because if it is, then, um, well, well done. Because that's exactly what it says to me. Okay, okay then, okay then. I think that's about it, actually. I think that's all I've done. Um, yes, um, the uh, DNA mod is uh, a really good mod to do. But if, I, if I'm if i going to be totally, totally honest with you, I think the DNA mod is a little bit overpowered. Um, the fact that it's just way too easy uh, to, to get your powers, and then once you've got your powers, everything becomes so much easier, and it kind of, uh, it kind of over, it, I know I hate to say it, because I, I'm not the kind of person that likes to say that stuff is overpowered and stuff, but it does kind of, you know, it kind of puts a damper on everything, and, you know, if, if I got it up, 
you know, if I had it over to do, I wouldn't use it. Um, I don't know. It's because it makes everything so much easier. Because you don't. Once you've done it once, once you've done your DNA once, you never have to do it again. You never have to use those systems again. Except, well, actually, you might have to use the centrifuge, and that's about it. Because what you do is you just take an injection. Um, you, you inject yourself, basically. And no, you take a blood sample of your own blood, which has got all the DNA in it, centrifuge that, and then it becomes the syringe that gives you your powers again. So you get like a duplicate from yourself. So it's like having a backup of your powers. So I'll never lose them. Now, the game was set up so that when you... Uh, let me eat. The game was set up so that when you... Uh, when you die, you lose your powers, right? But because you can do that backup thing with the syringe, you never have to do it again. It it, it makes it so that that's not actually anything. You know, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's not like it's anything wrong. You know, it, it, once you if you lose your powers, you just get them back again. So yeah, um, I know this hasn't been a, a long episode, and uh, normally I bring you um. A void bound episode this Monday, but to be honest, to be honest, I've I've been playing Feed the Beast mostly, and and that's uh, because I don't know, like because that's what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not going to make any excuses. Uh, I've done most of my work on this rather than on the void bound server because, well, <coughs> it's modded Minecraft, and I wanted to so. Um, next week, um, I'm thinking um, on the Voidbound server of a few projects that I want to do. Uh, so I'm going to show you that next week. Um, uh, probably me building it, because um, I'm thinking of building a boat. Uh, like a kind of an ark kind of thing, in the water. And I have a jetty go into it. And I think that um, sh showing... Uh, uh, seeing me build and how my process works might be a good thing just for one video but as always this um, this basically is just for me I, I do this so that I can remember what I've done on games so I can look back at it and go oh yeah I remember when I did that um, and, 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 and and I like the fact that some people watch it you don't have to watch it but if you do thank you uh, so uh, I suppose that all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching give me some thumbs up love don't feed the golems and I'll see you guys next time.